Hey there. I was playing with some pictures recently and added some, in my mind, I thought were cool techniques, so I thought I'd share it with you. So, this is the original, and I turned it into that. So, what I did was color enhance it, modify the lighting, so on and so forth, but I also turned it into a black and white photo. So, it's black and white. Um, with some areas still color. So if you like it, continue watching. If you don't, go and watch one of my other videos. So, let's get started. Here's the original picture. Um, it's utilizing a motion blur technique. If you don't know your photography techniques, then you should go Google them. So without further ado, let's see how quick we can turn this into this. And, oh, by the way, I'm using Windows Live Photo Gallery. It's a free product, but I'm also going to use another product that's a paid product, uh, quite cost effective, very cheap, Serif Photo Plus. And I'll put a link to the software package in the description below. Okay, so first of all, I like to click on my auto adjust just to see what the program does for me. It's already brought out a little more richness in the water. And I'm going to go over to the manual adjustment settings. I'm going to adjust exposure. I'm going to bring the brightness down a bit. I'm going to crank the contrast. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that shadow yet. Maybe boost it up a little bit and really drop the highlights. So all of a sudden we have uh, uh, significantly more contrast. It's not as washed out and the, the color is a really nice rich coffee color now. So I'm going to close up Adjust Exposure. I'm going to open up Adjust Color. All I want to do in this case is crank. There's that crank word again. Um, I'm going to crank saturation. And voila! Now it really brings out the, the caramel brown of the water. That's all I want to do with Windows Live Photo Gallery. That was pretty quick and simple to get um, to here from, we'll go back to the beginning and I'll show you the beginning. So from here to there. Already I think that's uh, much better. Now the reason I'm going to use um, the Serif Photo Plus is because I want to, you know, the the um, uh, the areas that I want in black and white are, you know, they have a colored tint to them, which you might like but uh, I just want them solid black and white. So, okay, that's done. We click close and that will actually save all the changes that we have made in Windows Live Photo Gallery. Close that up and I'm going to go to Serif Photo Plus X 6. Version 6. I'm not sure what version they're up to right now. It might be 7 or 8, but regardless, um, any of the versions will do you. So this was the final product. I've already done it. This is the one I just finished working on. So I'm going to open that up. First thing I want to do is go up to the color tab. Make sure that the foreground color is black. And then I want to go to Navigator. We click on black and white film and it automatically turns it black and white and that's the default black and white settings, but we want to go to maximum black. And as you see, it has turned the photo very black, got rid of all our um, saturation and color, but that's okay. Our next step will bring that back. And we come over here to the paintbrush, click on that. We want to make sure that the settings are set to normal. Your opacity is 100%. Your brush size, to start, because we're working on a fairly big area, we want to make that significantly bigger. Um, disregard the rest. So I'm going to click and drag all the areas that I want to be colored. Whoops, I accidentally touched the snow there and it's got a little blue tinge, so we're going to go back. We're going to do it again. Click and drag. 
over all the area that you want changed. And I'm holding the left click button down and just dragging through the image. And to me that already looks pretty cool. I'm just going to go over everything again so I don't, uh, so I haven't missed anything. Now I'm going to change my brush size. Bring it way down so I can work on fine-tuning some of the areas that I, I may have missed. Whoop, I don't like that, so I'm going to undo it. I'm going to sneak up, and there's a little channel of water here, and my scroll mouse allows me to zoom in. And I'm going to color that area right there. Oh, didn't like that, so I'm going to undo it. Start again. Sometimes uh, when you hold it down too long, you make too much of a change, and it doesn't work out to what you wanted it. So just a few little clicks here and there might sometimes work better. Uh, I didn't like that, so if I undo, now it only adjusts that because I, I wasn't holding down my mouse through this whole area. So there, that looks uh, in my my mind once again pretty cool. I wonder what it's like over here. You kind of just play with and go, yeah, no, I don't like that. Undo. How about that little spot right there? That's nice, but it's touched the ice. That rhymed. Um, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And that's pretty good. When you zoom out, you won't see the the little blue there. Um, but you can be as picky as you want. And now, um, that's my finished product. Uh, reasonably quick and easy. So we have a uh, maximum black photo uh, with a colorized area. Once you're done, export your picture. Name it whatever you want. In this case, I named it Colorized. So I'm going to just um, overwrite the um, original one that I played with. But if you didn't want to do that, you'd rename it here. But that's another story. Yes, I do. And that's it. We can close this program. It's going to ask me, do I want to save the changes? Um, you can save it in uh, a format that would allow you to um, undo all your changes in Photo Plus, but I don't want to. In Windows Live Photo Gallery, um, it automatically saves um, the changes you've made, so you can always go back. But in Serif Photo Plus, you can't do that. You have to save it into a specialized uh, format. So that is before our um, maximum black and and uh, selective coloring and that's after there you go that's it I hope you liked the tutorial if you have any questions or comments please leave them below I'll do my best to respond to them thanks very much for watching speak to you later